I'm always looking for a shortcut, a faster, more efficient, more seamless workflow. And Lumia 9 delivers that. So previously, when placing collections of objects, I would have to go and search out each object I want and place it individually. And so that took up a lot of time. But now in Lumion 9, we have the ability to take those collections of objects and save them out as a group. Then we can reload that group into any project and save ourselves a ton of time. Let me show you how to do it. For this example, we're gonna head back over to our dining room table and take a look at this place setting on our table. All right, let's go over and take a look at what we've got. I've got my select tool and I wanna select from the indoor collection. All right, we can make sure that nothing's selected right now. And as I hover around on these different objects, you can see that each one of these is individually placed. So they're, they're all in the object library and you can go and search for silverware or spoon or plate or whatever you're, you're looking for and you can place these. Now, once they're placed, I can put them into a group. Remember, I can either click on the object itself to select it or I can click on the actual node. So I'm gonna hold control and add each one of these different objects to my selection. Now that they're all selected in my, in my properties dialog, I can add the current selection to a group. So when I click on that, it takes those objects and makes them into a group. All right, so now this is where things get new. We've got a save group button. So I'm gonna click save group and we're gonna rename this as our BD table setting. I'm going to save it. Now that our table setting is saved, I can move down to the next spot and I could really go to any uh, project and use this table setting. But let me show you how to then load these groups back in. I can go to place mode and once I'm on place mode, in order to load a group, I need to go to select all categories. And when I do that, you can see that we get this load group icon. I'll click that and we're going to load up our Brightman Designs table setting and choose open. All right, so now I can click to place like that. So that's how you can save a group and import it. And I suppose at this point, you know, once you've got your group in your model, it's probably best to just copy it. So to do that, I would hold alt and then click and drag and I can make a copy of that group like that. So that's gonna save a ton of time. Now, I'm always looking to save even more time. I guess I'm greedy like that. So let's go outside and let me show you some of the thoughts I had about um, where you can use this functionality as well. So uh, if I go back to our place mode and go to load group, you can see that what I did is I created a collection of landscape objects called BD Landscape California Hillside. So now I can click open and then I can just place these objects in my scene. So this way, let me put them up on the uh, sidewalk here or on the pool deck. See, there we go. We've got a collection of landscape objects that always fit in on a California hillside. So I would think that you know using uh, collections of, of uh, landscape elements that are native to your area would be a really good use. And so, um, you know, once you have this group imported, you can then edit the group here. When I click edit group, that's gonna allow me then to go in and, uh, you know, move these things around. Or probably what I would be more likely to do is once this is imported, I would go and select my group and I would click ungroup. And I would just ungroup this thing. And now it's just these kind of floating plants and I can move those around and place them where I want. So pretty efficient way to uh, shave a few hours off of any project. So where else can you use this functionality of saving groups and loading groups? And so I showed you how to use it for a table setting and for landscape elements. Uh, but I think that you could also do, use it for groups of people, uh, whether it's a crowd or people walking. Uh, you could also use it for uh, collections of parked cars. So you don't have to go and pick each car or you don't have to go and do that mass placement every single time. I know that's what I do, and I'm going to be doing it this way from now on. So uh, this is going to wrap up the uh, this series of tutorials for the new user interface. I hope that you can see that it's been refined. It has not been overhauled. It is just always progressing, getting better. And the reason for this is to shave hours off of your day, off, off of the, the work that you're putting into these projects, free you up for design, and make things faster, simpler, easier, 
ultimately more beautiful. So anyways, time for me to get back to work. I'm sure you got to do the same. I'll see you in the next tutorial.